Hey everyone, today I'd like to share with you uh, expression pop. This is something um, that I thought was missing from the pop's family, and it's writing simple expressions um, in a single line or multiple lines instead of using the math combine. So the problem, my problem with the math combine is I have to dive this menu to do operations, um, which I really, really don't prefer to do. I just wished that I was able to write, you know, part age divided by part lifespan, for example, or something like that. So that's uh, what expression pop allows you to do, as you can see here. Um, and I'm going to show you in this example what it does or like, you know, how you can use it or when you would you want to use it. So um, as an example, I wanted to bring um, our previous pop tutorial. Basically, we have this particle system and these trails. And what I wanted to do here was um, color the particles based on their age. So let the age affect the brightness of the particles as they get older. Maybe I want to make them darker or the younger they are, the darker they are. Um, so we can do that pretty easily. Um, I'm just going to do this from scratch. Uh, in a math combine, um, we can take and A divided by B, and then we can say the part age divided by the part lifespan, and then we can make this as a new attribute and call this part life progress. And then we can add a new block and say A times B, and we can say I want the color to be the color times part life progress, right? So that's cool. but. But what if I want to invert uh, the direction of, of this? So right now, the younger the particles are, the darker they are. What if I want it to, the other way around? Um, suddenly, I have to rearrange these, add new blocks. Um, what if I want to emphasize uh, with a power function um, this effect? Then again, I have to add new blocks and, and all that. And I found that to be too much. Um, and that's why I made expression pop. And how can I do the same in expression pop and why would I want to do that? Um, so let's do the same thing with the expression pop and we will expand on it and see its power. So I'm going to type the same thing that I typed there in one line. Color equals color times um, part age divided by part life span. And then we have the same effect that we had with the math combine here. So, so far so good. And in my humble opinion, this was a bit quicker than menu diving and creating these separate blocks. Okay, what if I want to then expand on this? What if I want to invert um, this? We can simply do a one minus uh, for this part of the expression and say that basically this in the parentheses is our life progress or a particle age progress, and I can say one minus, and suddenly we, we were able to invert this. Um, in the math combine, we would have had to do something here. I don't know if there's even a one minus, to be honest here, maybe a range from range to, I don't know. The thing is, um, this is much closer to, to how you would write GSL, because in the end, what's happening here is if we change the viewer to code, then it is basically just a GLSL generator, code generator. We can also look at the info of the GLSL pop if we change it here. As the next step, we can expand on this. We can add emphasis on the effect with the power function. We could enclose this um, in this power and just type out how you would normally write GLSL code. All this is, again, is just a uh, it's just a glorified GLSL generator. And then we can quickly iterate on our expressions. We don't need to put out, put down a GLSL pop, um, configure it, um, which is kind of an overhead that you don't want to deal with. You kind of just want to write out um, your attribute uh, expressions. So that's what the expression pop allows you to do. We can also write multiple lines here. And I kind of want to show um, what this out adder slash local does. So when it's uh, at the offsetting, it's the out attribute. So what this means is that um, what's on the left side is an out output attribute. Um, let me rearrange this for one second. 
Um, otherwise, if it's in, in local, um, we essentially can define local variables. So I could say that I want the, the part um, life progress to be the part age divided by the part lifespan. And in this case, um, because it's going to be just a simple line, simple GLSL line, I can say this is a float. And then I can use this local variable here as part life progress. Can also get rid of some parentheses here. Just like that. Cool. I can also, you know, keep adding more expressions here, invert it, and so on. Um, so yeah, I thought this is a much needed feature in Touch Designer, so I, I made it. I also submitted this to, to the forums for derivative to consider. So let's hope that this makes it into the next release in one form or another. This is a freely available component on the forums or my free Patreon tier. And you can also support me on the paid tiers and get more tools, more goodies, more tutorials and whatnot. So I hope to see you there.